G'day viewers, we're sitting in the CT3C cab car by the MTBA on the Boston route. Just about ready to go, we need to set everything up. So let's start up here. Genfield, engine run and EP brake control. Also up here is the ADU for ATCS and AXIS. At the moment you can see they're both cut out. We're going to fix that in just a jiffy. So, brakes are set up ready to go. They're slightly on. We are, are in forwards already. So let's go and fix up our emergency safety systems. Positive train control. All right, we need to dive into this cupboard. Now, there's two things we can turn on in here. We can turn on the alerter, which I'm not going to for this tutorial because I don't want to confuse things. And we can turn on the cab signal and speed. And you just heard that little toot from the ADU in there when I turned that on. All right, let's get this door closed. It's interesting that's in the passenger compartment, isn't it? So they can turn on and off your safety systems if they can get that door open. All right, let's get the passenger doors closed. Now, we've got a speed up there of 25. So we're going to go flat knack out of here. Well, nearly. Let's release our brakes. And... We're going to go straight up to notch seven. Well, if it'll let me, I will. There we go. All right. So we're going to try and get over 25 mile an hour to force this thing to stop us so I can show you how to recover. So last week I released a full tutorial on ATCS and AXIS and how to manage it, how to use it, how it governs your speed and how to drive with these safety systems using positive train control. I really recommend that you watch that. That's gone up to 30 now, but we're still well on the way there to beating it. And in a moment, you're going to hear a horrible cacophony of noise as this thing gives us a penalty break. I'm going to do that deliberately. Now, you can just acknowledge the penalty break and apply your brakes, go back to neutral or idle, sorry, and then release your brakes. And you can probably keep going, but I want to show you what happens when it stops you because that's the important one. All right, you can see it's done a penalty brake application now, so it's 50 pounds on the brake cylinder, and it's used up some of the air, so it's used about 20 pounds out of the main pipe. It's a lovely noise, isn't it? You can also see that the brakes are applied here. Normally you can just react while this is happening, of course, but I want to show you how to get going again. Fortunately, it's not as difficult as the FB40. Wait till you see that procedure. This one's quite simple. Okay, now that we've come to a complete stop, we're going to do a full service break. It's interesting we started rolling again then. That shouldn't happen. Anyway, we're going to put our throttle back to idle. And we're going to reset the noisy thing with this button here, the second one. Now we should, in theory, just be able to release our brakes. And you can see that's coming off now. The red needle is the brake cylinder pressure. That's how hard the cylinders are pressing on the wheels to stop the train. And that's coming down to zero, so that's come off. The white needle is the brake pipe, which is the air used to apply and release the brakes. And now we'll be able to move. So we'll take off a little bit more sedately this time. Great, here we go. It's nice when things work. Anyway, we'll let this one keep going. And in just a moment, I'll see you by magic. Ooh, concrete column, well placed. I'll see you by magic in just a moment in the FP40 as well, so that we can go through the procedure there. And as I mentioned, it's just a little bit more complex, but once you know what to do, you will be fine. So see you there shortly.
Well, here we are. Just like magic, we're in the FP40. So let's get this set up to go. Engine run on, generator field on, fuel pump on. Let's get our reverser in and into forwards. That gets the loco ready. Let's put on our step lights and our gauge lights so we can see what we're doing. Uh, the brake is in handle off. We'll just leave it there for the moment. And we will cut the brakes in. And we will switch this valve down here, if I can get it, to be lead. That just puts us in control of the brakes. Now we're going to release the main brake, the train brake. And we're going to apply the independent brake fully to hold us here in place. Now I do that because it lets the train brake start to charge up. Now it's not a long train, but you know, it's a good habit to get into. Now, up here we've got our ADU, and it's saying that Axis is telling us that we're allowed to go 10 mile an hour, but ATC and Axis are both cut out. Well, that's not what we want for a tutorial. So we need to open up this panel behind us with the big scary 600 volts and the big switch. And we're gonna turn on safety devices and warning devices. Now there is also the alerter, which you can turn on up here, but I'm not going to for the purposes of this tutorial. Just because I don't want to confuse things, this locomotive is bad enough as it is. All right, it's time to lock the doors. And we're going to get out of here. Isn't that horn amazing? Anyway, let's crank it. Now, normally, I would suggest leaving rather sedately. But no, we're going to go out in notch 7. Not notch 8 because we get wheel slip, but notch 7. Because I want a speed, and I want this thing to react, and I want it to stop me. Now, it started reacting. At this point, if I acknowledged and immediately applied the brakes and dropped back to idle, I would get away with it, and I could just keep going. But I want it to actually stop me because I want to show you what happens and how to get out of it. Now, just like the cab car and the ACS64, you have to reset. Now, the procedure's a little bit different in this one. So, first thing, brakes to emergency, and you'll notice that the PCS is open now. So that valve just means that all the air's been dumped out of the brake system. Now we took the throttle back to idle, reverse it to neutral, and finally we can push the button to shut that thing up, because it's really annoying. Okay, now we want to bring the brakes back to full service and I'm also going to apply the independent and now we're just going to sit here and wait for a little while I've applied the independent because the train brakes are under the control of something else at the moment not me and when they recover they will release so we're just waiting for the PCS which is the valve here to close so that we can take control of the braking system again that takes a little while Roughly a minute. Must be something else we can look at happening around here while we wait. Uh, not much going on out there. I can hear a train moving somewhere. Oh, there's one. We can watch the train move. What else would rail fans do? There we go. That valve's released. So we can now release the train brake. We've still got the independent on. So you see the needles haven't moved that, moved that much. Now, what doing this is... a achieved is we're now charging up the train so if this wasn't a little tiny pissy short passenger train like this one if it was a big long freight train that could take 10 15 20 minutes so you want to do that as soon as you can little passenger train that's nah, pretty quick to charge up a few minutes so the game does it pretty much immediately anyway we're ready to go so i'll release the independent brake into forward down there on the reverser and let's throttle up at a more reasonable pace for this sort of service and now we notice we're going back into power on here and all of our brakes have released. So what we can see is that the brake pipe, oh sorry, the brake cylinder, which is the red one, that's showing that the brakes are off because the lower the number, the less push on the wheels. The higher the number, the more push. The white one is showing the brake pipe pressure and that's the amount of air available to you to apply the brakes. And off we go. So perfectly normal. Okay, well, that's it for this particular tutorial, so let's just pop out here and watch this train leave, because that's a fun thing to do. Wish my camera panning skills were a bit better. 
but you and I will just have to put up with them being crap. Anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial, short and sweet. I hope you found it useful. I really recommend that you watch my fuel, fuel, full, full tutorial on ATCS and Axis in driving the ACS 64, which is the Amtrak locomotive in this route, because that will tell you all the other things about ATCS and Axis. And it's kind of important to know because driving with these safety systems on adds a whole new dimension to the game and a whole lot more fun. So I really recommend you do it. Now, if you've enjoyed this video or you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me to know that you find the content good. And if you'd like to, if you want to see more tutorials or you want to see the recordings or even watching the live streams that I do, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate more people who do. It's got a nice slow organic growth going. All right, that's been it for this one. So see you next time. I stream every Sunday morning at 8.30am Australian Eastern Standard Time. All right, bye-bye. any and all feedback feel free to comment on the video constructive criticism is welcome especially if i've got something wrong i stream every sunday morning starting at 8 30 a.m and i also do ad hoc streams from time to time during the week please subscribe and click notify to avoid missing out subscribing helps me by helping me see what content is good and how it helps the channel grow or doesn't as the case may be